Hello everyone, I'm James Zhu from Dinstar. Today I will show you about the how to configure our analog gateway for core routing purpose, okay? Uh, actually, the core routing is like uh, some very critical way to, to control the core forwarding or core directions, okay? Here we can see that if our FXO gateway connect to service provider after then maybe the incoming call or going call will go through the FXO and then forward to IPBX, okay? So if internal users want to make outgoing calls, IPBS go to the our gateway after and forward to service provider and to end users. Okay. The other way is that maybe the outside users want to make incoming call for maybe certain support or technical support or product support or maybe contact sales. Then outside people make incoming call, go to the PS Link interface after then they connect to the uh, FXO gateway. FXO gateway will forward to IPVX or other SIP servers. Okay, and uh, we can see that uh, in to make uh, incoming call or going call successfully, you have to configure the both side, IPVX side and the uh, FXO gateway side. Okay, so. The two sides have to support properly and configure it, and uh, then the incoming call going can never work. Okay, and uh, here we got a uh, lot of product models. Now we are use the hybrid models for FSS and FSO. Okay, and uh, here we log in already, and we can go to the core routings. Core routings, there are a lot of the options or so sub menu here. And uh, you can add all the groups for port numbers and the ones for IP trunk. IP trunk means like a peer connection looks like. Okay, if you want to make a connection, maybe you go through the, your IPBX or other PBX or maybe the third party SIP servers. You always can add the, the remote the IP address. Okay, remove IP address and port. And uh, here we also got the routing parameters. Actually, there are two options here. If you have any particular requirement, any maybe the specific issue or specific requirement for the core routings, you can consider, for example, you want to change the numbers, management numbers, call number or calling numbers. So you have to consider that. Otherwise, you don't touch that. Okay, leave it as default. Okay, and uh, here we can see that uh, there's uh, two kind of the core routing actually. One is for IP to tail core routing. Here we can see that uh, IP to tail means like uh, actually from the IP side. Okay, if you got the remote side, which is IPBS, purely IPBS, you can configure the IP address, maybe in the call from the SIP trunk or call from the SIP server. So this is IP side. Okay, if you want the, your call uh, forward to maybe the ps side or in, uh, FXO side uh, interface, so you can select from here. Here we can see that the uh, 4 is FXO already, so you can check maybe the call from SIP to port number 4, then you will forward to port number 4. So it's outgoing call purpose, okay? And like uh, something like uh, internal extensions to make it outgoing call go to the port 4, okay? So it's uh, very straightforward, very easy to set up. It. And the other option is uh, IP to tail or tail and the tail. So it's uh, actually it's opposite from IP to tail. And it's here is a tail to IP. Tail to IP means like outside the people making incoming call. After that, go to maybe the port, for example, I will select like uh, port 5, which is FXO port. After then, and the color prefix, if I match or check the color prefix is uh, correctly, and I forward to maybe the port numbers or maybe the SIP chunks. Okay, here we can see that you can select, for example, you can select if certain criteria is matched. Okay, I forward the, the call from port 5 to port 6. Is it possible to read? Of course, and uh, I just say most of the time or uh, in normal environment, and then outside the people. Make incoming call will forward to our internal PBS. Okay, like this. Outside people go through the service provider, the FXO, then the internal PBS maybe. After that, internal PBS will forward to certain extension. Okay, so here is the same thing. Then the, if you, the, the criteria is matched, is made, and then forward to SIP server IP truck. So this is a tail to IP. Actually, the 
we can see that uh, if you got the any particular maybe the requirement or specific requirement for tail to ip configuration you can consider the two options here of course beside the, the two options we also got the core control or some uh, condition and uh, control or straightforward or block the certain numbers or block certain core from certain numbers or certain port okay so it's uh, very easy to understand that on the here maybe for example the daily duration uh, i just allowed the certain number maybe call maybe one hour or uh, months or daily cost minutes cost in minutes cost uh, daily connected i uh, means like i just allowed the certain call connected on uh, then the minutes connected you can select the destination you can select for example i just land the, this port can make going cost and uh, meet the criteria and uh, the call will be go to then check that okay so it's quite flexible of course we can see that uh, if you can buy the like tail to ip ip tail can spot more about the features for core routings so you can practice you can try that by using our team star gateway of course then more than that okay you you can consider more like a core parameter configuration manipulations and so on unless you know the meaning of the purpose for, for this okay and uh, of course our digital gateway is not only the for fxo or for fx we got a lot of the port you can if you got the, any requirement you can add the more port for for support that and uh, if you got any problems configure our core routing purpose or issues you always can support us we can uh, you let contact us there's a lot of the in contact information you can call us or maybe fax us or you may maybe they email us also no problem always will cut to your query okay so this is a, a core routing purpose training thank you for watching bye bye